What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got a brand new objective card and it is going to be your boy Fofana, the future stars Fofana. Now this card right here, it does take a decent amount of time to actually get, but it looks like, looks like it's going to be worth it because he's six foot three, which means that interception reach, that tackle reach is something he is going to have in a locker. Medium high work rates, the perfect defensive work rate. Three star skill moves with a three star weak foot. He's got 79 pace, 77 dribbling, 86 defending, 86 physicals with the 79 passing. Keep in mind, he does come from the Premier League. And keep in mind, he is also French. So you know for a fact who you can link this guy up with. Varane, Ferland Mendy. You can link him up with so many good French players. It is absolutely unreal. But when it comes down to the chem style, Shadow. It has to be a shadow. It really does. Like, you don't need to boost the, like, strength up by more because he's already 89. You kind of do need, you kind of need to upgrade the aggression a little bit. But for me personally, I would prefer him to be as fast as possible than be as, as aggressive as possible, you know? So for Shadow Chem style, he is going to have 91 acceleration and 88 sprint speed. So very fast for a six foot three center back. Shooting ability doesn't look incredible apart from the 88 penalties, which is something I was impressed about. He has also got for 83 shot power and 71 attacking positioning anything else there not really you know worth talking about passing ability though looks really good 80 vision for a center back is very nice 90 short passing 83 long passing with this 60 curve passing ability doesn't look too bad what i'm going to test out is to see if he can do those over top through balls down the line hopefully he can dribbling ability i tried he's 84 when it came down to dribbling and my god boys was it bad am i expecting it to be like much better on the 86 probably not so he has got 73 agility 70 balance 81 reactions 80 ball control 76 dribbling with this 76 composure i don't like how the ball control is quite low for center backs i like the ball control to be quite high because if a ball comes at them with a decent amount of pace it tends to bounce straight off them if they have low ball control so i'm hoping that is not that is something that does not happen to fafana now defending ability 91 interceptions 91 heading accuracy 89 defensive awareness 99 standing tackling with a 99 slide tackling as well when he comes down to the physicals he has got 92 jumping for a six foot three of six foot three player is really impressive he's got 81 stamina 89 strength with the 81 aggression as well who have we linked him up with we have linked him up with McTominay Bellerin Virgil van Dijk and your boy Nick Pope in that goalkeeper position as I said he's French he's from the Premier League it's so easy to link this guy up with now when it comes down to which positions I will actually be trying him in I'm going to give it the 4-4-2 in the center back position and the 4 2 3 one in a CDM position I'm not sure if he's going to be amazing in that CDM position I feel like yeah he can he can obviously put in attack and all but i feel like his dribbling is probably going to be very very awkward in that midfield but we're still going to give it a go let's get into the games though going to try to go towards Ozebiel. let's see what the guy does i'm going to guess he's going to try to pass back to Ozebiel. nice little transition there can i get in front of him he kind of does well to actually try to challenge Ozebiel there but he didn't really get in front what i want to see though i reckon he's going to press me that's the awkward thing all right let's see how he feels on the ball little ball roll oh okay you know what? He actually feels a little bit better than his 84, which is obviously expected saying that, you know, the stats are being boosted, but it's like, I did not like the 84 dribbling at all. And with this 86, it actually feels not too bad. Going to try to go out and press Rooney real quick. Really nice tackle. Well played. I saw how fast he actually got out to his opponent there. Let me go for that through ball. That is going to be a very nice pass. I see a pass all the way down line. I'm going to go for it. Oh my God. Look at that pass. Look at that pass. Can we get a goal? That's the real question. Ball roll in. Gonna give it to my boy Son. Gonna get over for an extra pass. Doesn't really work out. But you can't take anything away from that that beautiful pass. Does he track that down? He does track that down. And he's actually gonna get out to him. I'm gonna control him real quick. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, boys, I'm telling you right now, he's transition speed. Nice little reach there. That transition speed that he's got is really, really nice. Should we go for it again? Why not? LBY all the way to the other side. It's a nice pass. It really, really is. So it's a good thing to know that obviously those kind of passes are going to be actually quite consistent. Let's see if we can get a ball here. Good tackle. No pass back. Well played, boys. I'm telling you. He goes in very aggressive as well. He's not one of those players that kind of just goes in, tries to get the ball. No, he tries to get a ball and, and the player at the same time. It's like really, really good to see. Going to try to press out to Mane. No one to him behind. Well played. That was a decent interception, but he didn't actually come out with the ball. 
Let's see if we can just X ball this all the way to the other side. It's a good pass. It's a really good pass. I'm kind of surprised how like consistent that is because if his vision and his long passing coming together, I didn't think those kind of passes was going to be very consistent. But it's like it's worked like three out of three times. Fofana, you better win that header. There you go. He is six foot three with high jumping, so you expect him to win headers over Zerbio. Well, I'm gonna try to get out to him. Oh, no passing behind. He's gonna go down. I knew it. I was waiting for that moment. There was a wide open space there, so I was kind of baiting him into going there so I can get that tackle with Fofana. Right now, I'm really confident when going in for tackles with him because I haven't seen the ball start bouncing everywhere. No, it just like sticks straight to his feet. As soon as he goes in, he always comes out with it. He's gonna try to cover that middle. Is he gonna shoot with a Zerbiel? No more turns. Well played. Really nice tackle. Is he going to go up or is he going to continue going down? That's the real question. I've gave him that little space, but look at that pace. Look at that pace, boys. Going to just take it very calm. Trying to go for the switch here all the way to the other side. And it is going to be a really nice pass. Is he going to get to give it to a Zerbiel? He is going to give it to a Zerbiel. Look at his transition speed. Like, you can go, press your opponent, and then get straight back into a position. And look at that, man. You turn left, he's going to be there. You turn right, he's going to be there. His transition speed with the Shadow Chem style is really good. Going to try to get out to him real quick. Okay. Let's see the pace. Look at the pace coming to play, boys. I'm telling you. You can literally go press with him. And if you screw up like I just did right there, you can recover so, so fast. And it's so nice to see how fast he actually is. Because without that Shadow Chem, Shadow Chem style, I was kind of, you know, a little bit worried. I was thinking to myself, he's not going to be that fast of a center back. He's going to be one of the... Oh, he's going to be one of those ones where, you know, he's going to struggle to catch up to a lot of players. But I'm telling you, boys, I'm telling you, his transition speed while just like trying to chase players down and everything. It's so nice to see. No one, two. Can I get that? Yes, I can. That's really lucky, to be fair, because I committed the wrong, wrong center back there. And if Petit actually played a better ball, he was going to be in. Can I go for that interception? Oh, he's not actually... Oh, well, he eventually passed it. I didn't expect him to pass it there. Nice little shielding play there. I'm going to go for that overtop through ball. Oh, my God, what a ball. Give it to Son. Go for a power shot. Oh, my God. That pass was ridiculous. I did not expect that pass to actually work. But the fact that it landed perfect on Son just made the whole attack 10 times better. Give it to Fafana. I've moved him into the CDM position now simply because I want to see how he is actually in that position. I know that reach is always going to be really nice to see. But how is his dribbling going to work when going forward? Is it going to be, you know, good enough? Is it going to be on the, the urge of... Wait, hold up a second. I can go for... Nah, nah, nah. How many... Lo what long shots has this guy got? Hold up a sec... Hold up a second. You're telling me I've literally put this guy in a CDM position for what? Like 10 minutes now? And he gets a goal like that. Come on now, boys. Come on now. Give it to him right here. Play that ball through the middle. I tell you what, though. His passing ability is going to be nice in that midfield. The fact that he can just, like, get this ball, go for a fake shot, and just switch it all the way to the other side just like that. That's going to be very, very effective. Going to go for that fake shot this way. Going to go for that ball roll. Didn't really work out. We get it. Hold up a second. Nah, I should have took an extra touch. I'm getting a bit excited now. But let's test him out, test him out on the header. Hopefully, he can actually score it. All right, smack it towards the near post. Come on, six foot three. Can I green time it? Oh my God, it's going to be a beauty of a header, but we just couldn't get it in. Let's try it again. Come on. D decent cross this time. Decent cross. Come on, get it onto it. He is going to win it, but it was kind of behind him a little bit. Hold up a second. Hold up a second. Okay. All right, that's, that's what I was expecting when I was shooting with him, but apparently we scored a long shot with him. He's going to help me out there. Give me a little passing option. Ball roll into the middle. Give it to Maris. Give it back to him. Ball roll. Gonna go for that. That's what I was expecting. That is what I was ex <laughs> Oh my god. It literally though. That was what I was expecting. I was expecting that shot to go literally to Narnia. How we actually managed to score a long shot with this guy. Kind of surprised me. Kind of surprised me a little bit. Should we tell him to make a run? Why not? Let's tell him to make a run. Let's get him in behind boys. Come on. Run. Run. Look at pace, man. I'm telling you, that's against Trent as well. Team of the year, Trent. Can I get a fake shot around the corner? He does well to actually body off Trent. Can I get a pass into the middle? Hold up a second. Can he get an assist? No, we went for the scoop turn and did the fake shot. So it is time to review in three games played. One goal scored the one assist as well. Really surprised we actually ended up getting a goal with this guy. I personally thought if we was going to get a goal, it's probably going to be a penalty. Saying that, he, you know, he has got 88 penalties to his game. And it definitely was not going to be a long shot because he only had six. 
68 long shots, but that ball flew in. It wasn't one of those ones where it went, you know, bottom corner or it just like slowly, slowly went in. No, that ball with a lot of shot power and a decent amount of accuracy flew into the back of the net. So really, really impressive. And the assist as well, that pass towards Son, top tier absolutely top tier it was here with so much power and so much accuracy that it allowed son to just kind of run onto it and get that quick goal so really really impressed about him actually playing in that cdm position now do i believe this card is worth the grind do i believe he is worth the time yes without a doubt yes he is a very good center back a very good center back and he also is french he also comes from the Premier League. So the links you're getting up with this guy is ridiculous. You can link him up with Varane, Verlan Mendy, Opamakano, Lloris. You can link him up with so many players. It is ridiculous, boys. So yeah, 100% worth the grind. Do I believe Fofana is what is uh, worth? Sorry, is better than Varane? No. Come on, man. Listen, all right? Varane is extremely overpowered in this game. I'm not saying Fafana is not overpowered, but I just feel like he is a really, really good player, but not on that kind of level, you know, if you know what I mean. It's just one of those ones where when it comes down to comparing Varane to a Fafana, I still have to go for Varane. It's simple as that. Now, do I believe Shadow Chemstall is the best Chemstall? 100%. He used the strength. He, I felt like he had a way higher aggression as well. I didn't feel like he was 81. So, boys, just keep over the Shadow Chemstall try to make this guy as fast as possible as you clearly could see he wasn't one of those center backs you kind of want to stay back with no try to get out to your opponent try to get out to him as fast as possible because with the pace he has it's really really nice so for pace i am gonna give him i'll probably say i'll probably say like an 8.7 slash an 8.8 .8 out of 10 really nice really really nice shooting ability apparently i have to give him one because he scored a goal so for shooting i'm gonna give him i'll say like a 7 out of 10 I think that's reasonable. It was only one shot, so I can't really over-exaggerate it a little bit. Now, the passing ability. I felt like his passing was top tier. I really do. And I tried it with both feet. I tried it with the left. I tried it with the right. And it was onto the player majority of the time. So, for passing, I am going to give him, I'll probably say, like a solid 8.5, such an 8.6 out of 10. Really, really nice. Dribbling ability. He felt better on the ball than I expected. Let's not get that twisted. I was expecting a player that was going to feel very, very clunky because I used the 84 and trust me, I did not enjoy it one bit. But I was impressed. He's not a player that, you know, you want to go ahead and dribble a lot with. But he's a player that if he's if he's like under pressure, he can shield off the ball. You can take, you take your time with him and then you can eventually pass. So for dribbling, I am going to give him... I'll probably say like a 7.8 out of 10, 7.9. I don't want to go over the top because it still wasn't amazing, but it wasn't bad at the same time. Defending ability. I have to give him a high defensive like defensive rating. I really do because he really impressed me when it came down to putting in those tackles, putting in those slide tackles, those interceptions with that six foot three reach. And his defensive awareness was also very top tier. So for defending, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like a solid 9.3 out of 10. Really nice. Really, really nice. And for the physicals, I felt like the strength was really good to see. The aggression, as I said earlier, was higher than expected. The stamina was enough. And the jumping was clearly enough. So for physicals, I am also going to give him... Ooh, I'm going to give it like a 9 out of 10. I'll give the physicals like a 9 out of 10. Really, really impressed with this card. Really impressed, boys. But an overall rating out of 10, I am going to give him... I would say like a solid 8.7 slash an 8.8. .8. You can't go against it. You really can't. He's a very good card. A very, very good card. Once again, do I believe he is better than Varane? No. I really don't, but he's still a top tier card for especially a free card. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.